Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, you find me tired. That's a good reason to have some coffee. <laughs> oh, I felt fatigued for uh, quite a few days now in a row. I think there is so much energy processing happening and I have needed downtime. It's it, this is really just hard to. <clears throat> it's just really hard to record this Sunday morning coffee today. <clears throat> I feel like I'm tired, and what I would like is some peace. Not in my mind, but in my heart and my body. I don't. I, 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 it seems like I've been processing so much energy for so long now, for so many days in a row, that I might just be numb at this point. And <clears throat> usually that means it's time for a pause, to kind of step away, to do the things that help me to feel like me and to help me feel just loved and supported and really, really gentle things like meditations, like going to um, my playlist on YouTube and listening to my absolute favorite Abraham Hicks, you know, Law of Attraction stuff, audios, and maybe a book or two. <clears throat> I did download a book, but I started to listen to it and it's pretty good, but I just, it's hard to hear someone else's story right now because I have so many versions of my own story that are what I'm processing. <laughs> so it doesn't really help me to add somebody else's two cents in with their stuff. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Right now, as I'm recording this, actually, I'm having some water <clears throat> because I don't want to get the agitation that caffeine can sometimes do later in the day as I'm recording this. I know you'll listen to it in the morning, of course, <laughs> with your coffee, but... I think it's important to just show up and be real with you. And even in Sunday morning coffee, I, I find myself enjoying the podcast style and sharing with you some of the cool, intuitive, aha, sweet reminders that the universe presents to me in my human life that I know you experience as well. So today, here and now, I acknowledge that the energy has been a lot and that it's been a lot for a long time. And so over time, that wears on us. And I think as empaths, as intuitives, as somebody who does psychic and healing work, it is really becoming a, I'm, I'm becoming aware of the need to not be temporary about the way I'm taking care of myself, but to make some long-term routine practice choices that really support my body, my heart, my soul, and my mind, my brain. Because when you work with me in private session, you know that I work with the simple model of mind, heart, soul, and body. And I, I don't want you to <clears throat> get the impression that I'm like... Um, know, having a hard time or struggling or dealing with deep stuff for myself, I want you to know that I think that it's completely natural and a normal part of our human process to feel deeply and then also to be numb at times. And the numbness, I think, almost becomes a break. <clears throat> yeah, I have a lot of sinusy stuff going on right now. You can probably tell that. As well, that usually happens with the change of season and when the weather gets cooler and it's more, you know, damp in the fall here, it just, it really kind of rocks with the, my body just has to kind of change, shift gear. So today, it's after a very emotional day I spent yesterday, I have a friend who has a parent who's <clears throat> been really in and out of the hospital and is at the point of hospice care and there's some real end of life things going on and so many ups and downs and I've been through that myself in life. I 
as many of you know my story with my father, um, I was the one that made the decisions about his end of life care. And so I was the person that decided not to put him on life support, decided not to intervene. I mean, and it's really hard, even if you know the person's intention, what they want, what they desire, to follow through on that when you love them so much and you know that basically what you're doing is making the decision to let them die. It is so hard to be in that situation and it carries a huge burden on anyone whose heart has been in that position. So that primarily, I think, is the big thing and it deals with this just tremendous amount of understanding of love and grief and how those two are so intertwined. And that also is exactly what's happening in the world right now. We're seeing people upset about loss, physical loss, like grief through death, through illness, etc. And also loss of jobs and marriages and homes. And there's, there's so much of that in addition to this incredible recognition or desire for love. And the two forces of grief and love seem at odds, but I think that they're kind of in partnership so today as I'm recording the Sunday morning coffee episode for you I am just wanting for us all to be wrapped in some peace so let's do something that I do in my energy work with people I like to share with you the the image that I see because I'm clairvoyant as you know I see a circle just a circle of light drawn around us as far as like if you're standing up on the earth and as far out as your arms could reach around you if you stretched your arms out and just turned around in a circle imagine there's a circle of light around you that's on the earth that's just a a circle that is drawn into the earth that is glowing and it's light and this circle represents your space And the circle honors the energy of peace, your peace, not your peace of the earth, your peace for you, the vibrational energy that the earth gifts to you is a sense of connectedness, of security, of sacredness, of this ritual connection to live life upon this planet at this time. The energy of peace is a vibration that isn't just a feeling or a thought. It is an actual tangible energy that comes from earth. And I think that's why there is the energy of conflict and some grief that comes up with this love and adoration that we have because the peacefulness or the peace energy is like almost this, um, it's not the absence of it's, it's not the in-between the love and the grief that there's peace. It's during the energy connection of love, there is a peaceful component with that. And during the energetic connection of grief or loss, there is a peaceful component of that. And it kind of has this quieting, <clears throat> centering energy about it. And you are the center, just like that circle. You are the center of the circle, which is you are the center of the universe. You are the center of the world. Without pressure, with the understanding of what a gift that is, because that's how you receive her vibrational energy. That's how you receive the connection to peace, the remembrance of peace, the knowing of peace. No matter what you're moving through, no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter what stage of change you're in, no matter how you are personally moving through your relationships and your life experiences, you have this infinite connection to this energy vibration of peace. So that is my desire and wish for you today is to feel that connection to peace. It's not a destination. It's not a place. It's a part of you. And it's a part of each and every experience that you have as a human being. It's not something just that it has like this metaphysical or spiritual component. It is not just an emotion. It, it, it is tangible. It's tangible and it's sourced through the earth from this planet, from this human experience. And it's not something that's external 
It is internal, but it's internal because of your connection to the earth. I hope this makes sense to you. And if not, perceive this as an energetic message and see the circle of light that is around you and feel your feet connected to the earth and receive the gift of peace from that and know that it's connected to the energy experiences of love and the energy experiences of grief and loss and every and all of the other layers of your life that you choose to connect with peace in because it is this choice. It's this soft, gentle spot like when you're on a long walk and there's a bench and you pause for a moment and you sit. You just sit down. You rest. Just for a moment. This is what peace is about. All right. So this is Bridget. Thank you for listening to this Sunday Morning Coffee podcast. I appreciate you being here. I hope I've inspired your spirit and given you some hope today, regardless of where you're at and how you, how, how you feel today. Remember, this is your life. It's yours. And you get to live it no matter who's in your life, who's not in your life, what's happening in your life. You Get to live it. Do not wait for other people to get their act together. Do not, do not miss the opportunities for the peace that you already have right here, right now, in the present moment, right here. Every, each and every scenario or situation you are facing has a peace connected to it. Connect to that part of the issue, the problem, the challenge, the struggle. Connect to that and you will find your center and you will find your way home. All right. So remember, it's your life after all and you get to live it. Just live it. This is Bridget. Thanks for listening.